So some context, I decided to write a middle school band piece and I'm launching it as a consortium. A consortium is sort of like a joint commission where several different parties can band together to commission a piece from, in this case, me. So the idea was I was gonna write this piece. In the meantime, I'm asking different schools if they would like to be a part of the consortium. So with the consortium, there's a set fee that each party needs to pay in order to be a part of it. In return, they get a few perks. So for example, their program name will be in the full score of the finished work. They have exclusive rights to perform it for, I determined, up to six months. And when they do perform it within that time period, they have the opportunity to call it a premiere, especially since they contributed to the creation of the piece. So what are some considerations that I have to keep in mind? Number one, has to be easy. Can't be a middle school piece if it's too hard. Number two, it has to not be boring. Because the music has to be easy enough for middle schoolers to play, a lot of middle school band music is boring. And I don't want to contribute to middle schoolers all around the country falling asleep in the middle of class because what they're doing is just so dull. So those are my two goals for this, simple right? No. Writing something easy but not boring is difficult. Can I pull this off? We'll have to wait and see. So firstly, I started with an idea for this piece. A while ago, my family and I took a very lovely vacation to a beautiful island in the Caribbean and later thought, hey, I could write a band piece based off of this lovely location. It could be fun, Latin-inspired music that would be fun to play and fun to listen to. I sat on this idea for a while though, but when it started to get time around, like I should probably start writing a band piece in time for the school year to start, I had to start kicking around some ideas. So it wasn't until I was on vacation with my girlfriend and her family earlier this summer at a completely different unrelated beach location that I started thinking up the main theme for what would become the piece that I ended up writing. I even wrote it down on my iPad, which I had with me at the time. There seems to be a pattern here. I need to go on vacation more often. But then I had to turn my sketch into an actual piece. I can't just leave it as is. The kids can't play that. That's boring. So I thought of Isla de Coco, which means coconut island in Spanish. So I came up with this. Bass line, I came up with this. Into was that the melody and the bass line follow each other pretty much to a T. Those are octaves, which doesn't make for a very interesting or resonant bass line. So I kind of had the intro happen like this. came in, I would kind of flip the bass line so it would be this instead. So that way, with the melody, that's a little more resonant. This was kind of a bit of a gamble for me as well because I've never written a piece for middle school band before. I earlier this year just finished completing a symphony, my first symphony. I need to be a little bit more proactive about my career as a composer. So I figured what can I do now in between the commissioned and scoring projects that will allow me to make some sort of income now and into the future. And I thought I can write my own pieces, sell them under my own publishing company. And the hope is that eventually this will be a viable source of income for me in between projects, supplement income while I have projects ongoing. So that's exactly what I've done. I decided to try this out with this consortium. I wasn't sure if it would work at first. Very, very soon I'm going to be launching my own music catalog on my website with a few pieces that I've written in the past and a couple pieces that I'm finishing up now. So. The idea is every month I'm going to be releasing a new piece to try and get out there. The education world is a field that I'm pretty familiar with. I have a lot of friends who are in education. I myself teach at schools, middle and high schools. I've been doing so for several years now. I intend to write music that is catered to this specific crowd. And in the case that I have larger commissions 
or a scoring project comes up that demands a little bit more of my time, then I would work on that, of course, but I would at least have a catalog of music that can continue generating income for presumably the rest of my life. All right, today's the day the parts and score are due for all of the schools who are part of the consortium. Basically, what I'm doing right now is looking over all of the parts, making sure that they look okay. Uh, I think there are a few moments where there's like one system on like the last page and I don't want one whole page to be used for just three or four measures. So I'm gonna see if I can't nudge most of the parts just a little smaller. I'm also making my final pass through, making sure that dynamics are there, that articulations are there, that slurs and whatnot are clear. We're trying to get rid of that mattress in the back over there, so I apologize if that is distracting you. Basically, this is the book to Isla de Coco. Here's the, the cover page, a blank page, and then it goes into the book itself before we start and the music. The reason I'm using Affinity Publisher and not making it in Dorico is because it's just a lot simpler to keep the music inside of Dorico rather than trying to make the book inside of Dorico. It's just, it's, it's kind of a whole different can of worms and there's more functionality in terms of like having books in Affinity Publisher. Let's take a look at the music here just to make sure everything is okay. I think what I'll do is I'll go part by part. I don't like the way the timpani part looks. Maybe from J we can create a break here. I think it's a little better. See, the last measure here is on its own page. I don't want that. So I'm gonna see if I can't fudge a few more measures into a previous page so that I don't have a last page that looks like this, which is a, same, a shame because I looked at the previous page and I think they look good. I'm gonna have to sacrifice some page in order to fit just one measure in. But I don't want it to feel too tight. Maybe this one, okay. Yeah, it looks a little tight right here. Look at that, you see how the eighth note is looking a little close to that quarter rest right there. Let's see if that fixed the measure at the end. It did, it did. Now let me get rid of that. See if there's another place where we can add it. How about this one? Yeah, a little tight. Not as bad though. Let's see if that helped. Yes, it did. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like that for now. If I end up not liking it, then I'll change it again. Oops, that's not supposed to look like that. You know, when you're looking at the same thing over and over again, day in, day out, it doesn't matter if it's notated music like this or if it's music in a DAW, sometimes either you get so used to the way something looks or sounds that you just don't notice that it's bad. And secondly, you're staring at the screen for so long that you just don't realize that what you're looking at could be better. So I ended up submitting all of my materials to all of the schools who were part of the consortium that day. So thank you so much to all of those programs. Now, what have I learned through this process? I think the biggest thing that I realized was that I am able to pull this off. It takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of work, but it is possible. And especially since this is my first one, I learned a ton through this process in terms of timeline, budgeting, marketing, getting all of the schools aware of what I'm trying to do. But I've learned that I can make this work for myself. So under my publishing company, I can release new works as I complete them. I hope to get on a, on a timeline, but I have to spend the time to actually write everything when I can so that I can release them. And then hopefully that can start to compound on itself in terms of how it pays off for me. Isla de Coco will be available as a study score over on Patreon for anyone who's interested in how I put this middle school band piece together. Otherwise, stay subscribed for more on my journey of self-publication. So until next time, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at Ernesto Composer. You can visit my Patreon at patreon.com slash Ernesto Composer. You can get templates, score study versions of my published works like Isla de Coco, um, score study Sunday, monthly hangouts, and more goodies. You can visit my website at ErnestoComposer.com. Thanks so very much for watching. As always, take care.